Joining us is a man who is no stranger to the Observer. Let me say a special good evening to UNC Public Relations Officer, Dr. Kurt Megu. Uh, welcome, Dr. Megu, and thanks for linking with us this evening. It's my pleasure. Um, uh, hello to uh, good night to you and your listeners. Thank you. Uh, first of all, today's judgment, um, where, where do we stand with that? Well, we have to go back uh, to the polls. And we will uh, fight them again, and, uh, and this time come out with a clear victory. Uh, but um, it's very, very, very important that we tested this, um, this out. And, and, and at least when, in this judgment, we in the UNC didn't have to pay costs um, like we were uh, ordered to in the uh, lower court. But, um, but you know, this, this whole, I mean, I, I have a real problem with the philosophy of our local courts because they explicitly recognized that there was a conflict between enfranchising the voter, so making sure every vote counts, and ensuring the legitimacy of the system. Right or or the integrity of the system, as they called it. So they they choose the system over the voter, over the citizen. Uh, I think that's a fundamental uh, flaw, you know, and um, it, it it is really something that I think is uh, uh, a, a mark against uh, democracy mm. and civil rights uh, in our system of jurisprudence. And, and it's, it's one reason personally why I think the uh, Privy Council is so necessary because um, they have a much greater sense of individual rights than we do down here. But, you know, that, that's the process and we have to go back to the polls uh, because, I mean, just in case your viewers don't know, what happened is that the the initial um, result had the PNM candidate winning by five votes. We ordered, we asked for a recount. Then there was a tie, but there was one ballot which had a vote for the UNC. But because the officer, the presiding officer, didn't initial it, uh, it was rejected. So it wasn't a fault of the voter, it was a fault of the system itself. And then, um, what we had argued on our side was that every vote must count. Um, and if the EBC, if the presiding officer made a human error, then that should not disenfranchise that special voter. But the courts um, upheld that, that that special voter should have been disenfranchised. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, so um, we yeah, have no more legal recourse, and so we'll go to the polls. I go to vote. Yeah, it, it's a critical time, and, and of course, the political leader has made it quite clear uh, a few weeks uh, back at one of the Monday night cottage meetings that the party is on election footing. It is in election campaign mode, uh, and of course, uh, we've heard so much ever since after that uh, announcement. Uh, lately, she's made it quite clear that wannabes' ambitions outweigh their talents uh, when it comes to those calling for the internal elections to be held, and she made it quite clear that it will be held under party constitution. Uh, and of course, the man at the forefront of that is the Maro MP, Mr. Rushton Pari, who has made it quite clear that the public call for national executive election in the UNC should not be viewed as an attack on the leadership of the political leader. Then what are we looking at here? I mean, if it is that uh, the fact of the matter is that we are facing an election that can be called, um, the signs are there, um, whether it be now or whether when it's constitutionally due, things have to get prepared. We have to get ourselves into that mode. Things have to be worked out. The machinery has to be well oiled. Uh, do you question in your, I know as PRO, you may want to be a more objective, but do you question in your personal capacity uh, the timing of such uh, these moves? Well, absolutely. It, it, it is absolutely frivolous. It is a fake, it is fake outrage because the party has not delayed any internal election. That is the fact. The party has not delayed the internal elections. So they are going on as if the party has delayed internal elections. We haven't. 
So this is a non-issue. They're going on, they're making press conferences. We've had the PNM on the back foot in terms of the anti-crime talks, in terms of the property tax, and then we were getting on top of the SSA issue. Um, the PNM were just on the back foot the whole time, and now we have to respond to idiotic non-issues. Um, we did not postpone elections, so I don't know what they're going on about. If they had any concern, they could, um, you know, to talk to the NATEX and say, you know what, uh, we want to make sure, um, you know, whatever it is, we want to make sure and, that and, the and that's, are that, held. That, that's the point I want to get to, um, Dr. Mego, the, the process. I mean, because at the end of it all, are there avenues that one could actually come out and address these issues rather than having it out in the public domain? I mean, when it's in the public domain, it doesn't help or assist any entity that is preparing for a national election. Exactly. To, to, to me, it, it's, as, it, it, it's as malicious as, let's say, when a husband and wife are having a problem and the wife goes to Facebook first rather than to speak to her husband and starts to complain about her husband on Facebook and everybody puts comments and likes and, and all this kind of thing. This is what they're doing. Uh, instead of you know, talking with the party saying, you know, listen, I know the, the elections are due this year. Is, you know, are there any issues? Is there any problem? I mean, we, I'm, I'm a NATEX member. I'm on the national executive. We've not discussed, we, we've not discussed it yet even. It, it's, it's, not, it's not an issue and as, far as, and as far as the official position is concerned, the elections uh, will be held this year. Yeah. Right? So we, we have not postponed anything. They are making this up. And it is, it is distracting us from talking about property tax, from talking about crime, from talking about the SSA. And, uh, and, and we have to talk about this made-up issue. Uh, uh, and I think that's exactly what they want. And he talks about a public suicide. Um, I think he's, you know, watching a, a, a political suicide, I mean, but watching a public suicide is, is never a pleasant thing. And, and, um, and, and that's what we're watching. He, he is obviously committing political suicide. And it's like he wants to take the party down with him. You know, it, it, it really makes no sense. I, makes... I mean, listening to what you're saying, you're saying basically there's never been any discussion about this in Natex as far as simply putting it off, not holding it under the Constitution. Uh, what do you say to those who uh, would make the pronouncement that, listen, it's a matter of, of putting priorities straight uh, we need to focus on being prepared for this election rather than getting involved in internal issues at this point of time that, that basically trumps whatever agenda anyone else would have. Yeah, that is actually part of the Constitution that, uh, you know, if there are elections uh, due this year, uh, in the same year as in internal elections, the internal elections shall be postponed. This happened many times under Mr. Pandey, our first leader. Um, I don't know if it happened uh, under Kamala Prasad Vesessa as yet. Uh, and and it's, it hasn't happened as of now because there has been no announcement or decision to delay elections. So, um, but if, but there is a provision in the constitution uh, because uh, an election is, can be a very divisive thing or uh, when everybody's uh, uh, resources and energies are directed to contesting against each other instead of the PNM, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not productive in terms of the UNC coming to take government. So, so that's why the provision is in the Constitution. Um, for the uh, elections to be postponed if there is an, uh, a national election coming up. Yeah. So, um, you know, and, and what happened when, remember when Patrick Manning was delaying the local government elections ever since, I think it was ever since 2005 or 2006, I, um, I think he delayed it once, he delayed it twice. That made the UNC delay their elections. Um, and uh, did delay our elections at that time, and and that's when uh, Ramjack happened because they were trying to force yeah. elections. But that, but that was again a, a, a constitutional process that was happening. Uh, the, there was no um, violation of the constitution. Uh, it's just that the party has to concentrate on the eye of the bird, which is government, uh, rather than internal politics. So. Yeah. So if, if, if we have to choose one or the other, we have to choose to fight 
the PNN, not each other. Mr. Perry has made it quite clear that he has no intentions of backing down, even though he has come under pressure uh, from inside and outside of the party. Uh, have you put provisions in place to deal with this, to address it uh, head on, or is it a matter of saying, listen, we are not even going to acknowledge this because according to the leader, um, now is not the time for that. The focus, is, we must stay laser focused on doing all that we can to rescue the people of this country. Is, is that where it's going to be rather than looking to make an issue or even uh, entertain anyone who may have say different? Well, I, I don't know what Mr. Parry's motivations are. I mean, uh, it, 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 he is just causing mischief because the point is, is that the Natex will discuss the issue of internal elections uh, in, as they arise. So there's, um, he cannot force the agenda of, uh, of the national executive, um, and, and it's very presumptuous for him to presume that we would not deal with the issue. Of course we will. Um, he, he is basically casting aspersions on the national executive, saying that, that we would not um, deal with that issue. We will deal with it in due course. We're not going to be bullied. We're not going to be pushed around. He is not going to set the agenda for the national executive. Um, we will deal with it as we always have, and we have a set of priorities. And the number one priority is to remove the PNN. And as long as he continues this, he's going to stop us from focusing on property tax. He's going to stop us from focusing on crime. He's going to stop us from focusing on the SSA, on corruption, on education, and on all the issues. And we're going to have to talk about foolishness that um, the PNN media will be putting on front pages and on TV and radio. Um, and it, it, it's just, it, it only serves to distract us from the real fight. Now, now as far as, as keeping this at the forefront, uh, I mean, and you're right, it, it will, of course, uh, create such a distraction that it moves away from many of the core issues. Uh, looking at it, uh, and of course, people in the art of war will always want to strike when they believe that the opponent is most vulnerable. Uh, and so one could look at the time and as, listen, we want some leverage. We want some issues addressed. So we are going to make our move at this time, which is a critical time, especially when we know that the general elections could be anywhere around the corner. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah and, and looking at that, one would say, listen, is this just a matter of uh, perhaps communication, talking to these individuals and saying, listen, come in, whether you come in as a group, whether you come in as an individual, but let's sit down and discuss exactly what is troubling you and let's iron it out for the interests of the party and by extension, Trinidad and Tobago. I, yeah, I mean, I, I think so. I mean, we, we, should, uh, we should just be able to talk about it, but, uh, but for, for some reason, um, they, they instead wish to hold press conferences. Um, it, 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 uh, the national executive will discuss the issue um, when it is time, and um, I, what one really has to, to to question the motivation as to as to why they will continue this, why they will take the UNC's concentration off of the PNM. What is their motivation? It it it, it cannot be. It cannot be uh, for the good of the party. It cannot be. Um, it, it, it has to be for some other reason, and there very, very well may be external motivation. Um, I don't know if PNM agents uh, are using them, because the PNM had no response. Um, they were, they've been losing on crime, they've been losing on property tax, they've been losing on every single issue. They have nothing to talk about, nothing to boast about, nothing, nothing. Uh, and the only thing they could, to, could use is this fake idea of instability. And unfortunately, we have these useful idiots who are willing to, be, to cause or to appear to cause instability in the party. And, yeah. and it's, it's extremely, extremely uh, disappointing, frustrating, angering, um, because, because this can uh, have real effects on our ability to save Trinidad and Tobago, to secure Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. And I, I understand you loud and clear. Uh, and, and I mean, 
Um, as I said, it, it's all part of the art of war. People will make their move when they believe that it's most vulnerable, it's most critical to get the attention and to gain the traction that they're looking for. My issue, however, is with the individuals who would leave an entity and then stay on the outside and make comments about things that the way it's supposed to run, the process, and what have you. Nobody kicked you out. Nobody told you to leave. And if you have to make changes in any sort of, of, of capacity, you have to do it from an internal point. You can't do it from the outside. So I, I think we're looking at a different group here. There are those who may want to address issues and say, listen, I think this is the time for me to make my move. However, compounded with that, you have individuals who basically left. No one told them to go, not the political leader, not Natex, not the members, anyone. As a matter of fact, there are members who have reached out and say, come, come with me, come home, come back. But they remain on the outside hoping to make that change, or is it just a matter of mischief? Yeah, I, 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 have, a, I have a feeling that uh, outside forces are egging these people on who cannot see past their own egos, who cannot see the um, big picture, who can only see their own ambition and hurt and desire, and who will put uh, and who will sacrifice the whole country uh, over their wounded egos. Uh, and, and, and these people are ripe to be used by forces that wish to keep the PNN in power. Yep. Last week, of course, the opposition leader um, basically had discussions with the uh, JTAM, uh, President Ansel Roche and his team. And uh, he said that they shared the same concerns about the labor movement and society particularly over the government's offer of 4% salary increases, the need for better labor legislation, and the closure of the Petrotrin refinery. Are, are we seeing here basically, and I, I know that political leader has said it many times, that the party is more than willing to sit down with individuals who share that common interest. But there has to be somehow, for those of us who are on the inside and, and concerned about the fact that people may just use this conveniently to address their agenda, are there steps in place that are outlined as far as how far the party is willing to go with an understanding with anyone who wants to have talks? Well, yeah, we, we are, are committed to further discussions with uh, JTRM on, on how we will operationalize um, uh, a partnership, you know, working together. But we certainly have agreed in principle, uh, and the JT, uh, JTM is supporting the UNC. They have announced their support, and we have to work out what does that mean. But certainly, you know, people like um, uh, Mr. Jackman from Point of Pier, uh, he's, he's helped us, you know, quite a bit in the Point of Pier branch, has helped us quite a bit in South. Um, so, but, but, you know, and again, you know, this was overshadowed by the foolishness of Russian Pari of making up an issue that doesn't exist. There is no delay of the uh, internal elections, so that it's, it's, it's a non-issue. But he's, he's made this into a spectacle. And, it's, and, and so we're, n we're not seeing the real coming together of forces, um, of, of people who really want to take back control of this country from the destructive, corrupt, um, uh, absolutely uh, evil PNM. I, it, it's hard to say anything uh, more than that because they are, they are uh, consciously, consciously destroying this country. Yeah. And, and again, you know, having talks with, with different um, groups, uh, getting the message out there. I, I mean, you have uh, been well, I should say you participated in many um, elections before here locally. Um, this one seems to be a whole lot different. Even the prime minister saying that, you know, stopping short of saying this is going to be that old adage, it's going to be the mother of all elections. But just looking at today's headlines and newspaper reports of a special unit that was formed, uh, allegedly circumventing that of the SSA, reporting directly, it's alleged to the minister or those in authority, uh, taking all of that in consideration, what are we looking at going into this election? Well, uh, I mean, we're looking at the very future of Trinidad and Tobago. Keith Rowley has actually been in office on a continuous basis longer than anyone uh, after Eric Williams, right? Uh, he, uh, Patrick Manning, his term was broken up. Um, so he, 
Uh, he actually beat Patrick Manning in terms of being continuously in office this year. He, and so um, to give and the, the amount of destruction he has caused, they have spent um, more money than the PP government, and yet the economy has dropped by. We've never been uh, as as wealthy. Uh, in our history in 2014, and we lost all that under Rowley. The growth they're talking about is because, is they mean growth from COVID, which is not, we, we still lost, um, uh, I think it's $20 billion in GDP. Um, and and, and if, if, if we gained uh, half a, you know, half a million dollars, uh, we still lost 19. Um, that that's what's happening. Um, so, so th this ec this economy uh, is just in total free fall. Our education system is in free fall. Uh, our security, um, the crime situation, everything, the energy sector, it's just been uh, destruction, destruction under this government. And to give them another five years, I really fear that we will lose Trinidad and Tobago and we will be on our way um, to, to a real failed state with a dictatorship um, where, where the opposition will be up, totally marginalized. Um, the, the government will have full say. There will be a, a full kleptocratic government. They've already had over 210 recusals now. They're using the government to enrich themselves, to have generational wealth for themselves, while the country crashes in every single respect. And, and if we allow the PNM to have another five years, we will cross the threshold into an absolutely failed state. You know, Venezuela was once, you know, one of the wealthiest, most prosperous societies in the world. And, and you know, and now they don't, they can't even get toilet paper, even though they have um, uh, more uh, oil than Saudi Arabia. You know, they've just totally mashed up their economy and they were a democracy you know uh, yeah. and and that is that is what we are looking at here right? yeah and, and, and also we have to realize what's happening in haiti which is right in our backyard and, and you're right about that i, I want to thank you so much again any closing comments to the rank and file of the unc i just want to say that the please do not be distracted by these mischief makers we all know who does the work and who doesn't? Who fights for you and who doesn't? And we have to rescue this country. We cannot be fighting amongst ourselves. Um, the party is here to fight for you and we must be united. And under the leadership of Kamala Prasad Bissessa, we will move forward and we can win, but we cannot be distracted. Do not let these people distract us from our end goal, which is to rescue and save Trinidad and Tobago by getting back into government and putting out this PNM once and for all. Thank you so much, Dr. Megu. Keep up the good work. We'll be checking in with you periodically. Best of luck. So what we're looking at is everything and the political kitchen sink is going to be thrown in this upcoming general election. So Correct. Got to be prepared. Thank you so much again. Thank, Thank you. you. And good night. Thank you.